So we're just going to go with a bit of the gear we've been shooting in New Zealand. Um, two main firearms and then two just cool ones after that, which are um, Harvey's personal guns. So first of all, I want to go over this one. This is um, one lent to us by a good mate in Thames. Um, it's, and it's a 223 Hauer, 1500 model, stainless steel. The barrel's been cut to about 13 inches or so and threaded. And threaded for this uh, gunwork suppressor, which obviously we aren't allowed in Australia. But um, together it makes a really light package, um, really good for what we're doing. Um, if you're going to chase goats in the hills and stuff like that, um, probably not bad on a but um, anything past that you probably want something a bit heavier. The scopes are a 3 to 9 by 40, and it's a uh, Nico Sterling. Um, so the ammo was just a Highland ammo. Um, 55 grain soft point that we're using through that. Um, it's a really nice gun, light package to take. The other one we're using was um, this one. This is Harvey's one he put us onto when we first got here. And this here is a um, 6.5 by 2A4. I don't know if you can see the rim on that, but we'll just get a quick shot. And um, this round, particularly these guys, ballistic tip guys that he's loaded um, they're not factory rounds he's loaded them himself and um, that's what we'll use and that's what I this is what I used to shoot the, um, the red deer the other day at about 300 yards or so so um, it's got a knife force scope on it um, it is a 4 to 14 power and um, clear as the rifle itself is a Winchester so uh, very nice package, very low kick, like a um, little, little, probably a little bit heavier than say something like the Howl, but um, still not a problem to carry in the bush. But, um, but the knockdown power and, and the flat shooting projectile make up for its weight for sure. So that's, that's what we used um, pretty much on the trip here with Harvey. But so we just want to show you a couple of these guns here. So these, gun, these guns here are um, both Tikas. One's a uh, Tika 23, uh, let me just, uh, yeah, T3X. That's probably a newer model. So um, this one is a uh, big, big loud bugger. <laughs> and um, he's put a, he put a muzzle brake here, which um, kind of um, takes the blast backwards um, and, and down towards past the shooter. But um, this, this is actually a 28 nozzler. It's the round. Oop, get it around the right way for you. It's a 28 nozzler. And, um, yeah, it's one of his toys. And, um, a bloody beauty at that. So she's got a carbon fibre stock. It's, um, a fluted bolt there. Got the beautiful, smooth ticker action. Um, a Swaro scope. A Swaro scope is 5 to 25 power. Um, it clear as, clear as anything. And, um, a carbon fibre barrel with a uh, steel insert, obviously. Really light package. That's one of his toys he's got. And this next one, which I uh, is one he won. He won this in a competition here in New Zealand. And uh, he's trying to sell it. So, obviously, um, more than what he needs is a Tika T3 in 6.5 Creedmoor. Again, it's all carbon fibre. A stainless steel receiver. Beautiful gun. And it comes with a nice suppressor. Made by Hardy. It's a shame you can't have suppressors in Australia. Um, I don't know why. It's up to the gun to decide, I guess. But um, we've probably got a lot more call for them over there with the amount of shooting we do. And um, the boys use them over here because they shoot over the top of dogs. So it saves the dog's ears. Um, but yeah, so hopefully one day cross your fingers we'll have them in Australia. <laughs> but anyway, that's the toys that's the toys that we've been using here in New Zealand. Thank you. Just quickly show you um Harvey's trophy room. Pretty amazing stuff.